Hi, this is Seema and today I'm going to bring you a new lesson on expressions that you use when you are changing your decision. Okay, now, what is a decision? Well, a decision is a choice that you make about something or anything when you have to think through several different possibilities, right? So, you can decide or make a choice to have vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, strawberry ice cream, or maybe any other kind of flavor. But you decide to have strawberry ice cream. But sometimes we want to change that choice or change that decision, right? Now, what I'm going to do today is I will tell you various expressions that you can use when you have to change your decision. Okay, let's look at what they are. The first one is, I changed my mind. Well, this is probably the most often used expression you are going to use when you change your decision, when you change your choice, when you change your opinion. Okay, so you can say something like, I hated my professor but I've changed my mind about it. Or you can say, I wanted to have lunch, but I changed my mind. I decided to go for a movie instead, right? This is the most commonly used expression, okay? We will go to some more uncommon ones. So for example, you have something like, I had a change of heart, okay? So you say, I had a change of heart, okay? When do you use this expression? You use it when you are talking about a change in your feelings, in your attitude, and in your behavior. And mind you, more often than not, this expression is used toward a change of the feelings, attitudes and behavior mostly in a positive direction or in the more positive approach. Okay, so you can say something like, I decided to punish my son for what he had done, but then I had a change of heart. Maybe my attitude toward punishing my son changed. I decided it wasn't very important to punish him rather than to correct him with love. So that's when you use the expression change of heart. Okay, moving on to the next one, we have hang on a minute. When would you use the expression hang on a minute? Now a lot of times when you are making a decision or when you have already made it, okay, you are debating with yourself about the decision that you've made because you're not very sure now okay in fact after having made the decision you still need time to think so you may ask the other person to wait okay so suppose you are on a call with your phone company to order a new handset okay and the person on the other line tells you, okay, uh, Mrs. Rogers, so would you like to pick the phone at the store or would you like me to have it delivered to your house? Now, initially you decided that you're going to pick it up at the store, but then you're like, hang on a minute, because now you are debating with yourself whether is it the right decision for me to go to a store wherein I could have saved time and money by having it delivered to my house right so you need time to think you are still debating on a decision that you've already made okay all right next expression on second thought um, sometimes we've made a decision already and after having made the decision we kind of give it ample or a lot of consideration or a lot of thought you've thought through a decision that you've already made and after thinking about it after having made it you think that maybe i have a better idea okay so you have a better idea after having made a decision so when you have a better idea after having made your initial decision 
that's when you say on second thought so for example you may say something like i decided to speak to the hr manager about this issue but no wait on second thought i decided i'm going to lodge a formal written complaint so you've actually decided to do something but then after having thought about it more you have a better idea as compared to your original idea and therefore you say on second thought you've changed your mind you've changed your decision okay now the next two expressions are pretty much similar okay but the first expression between these two is used in an informal way and this one is used in a formal way or maybe at work you know at office upon reflection what does that mean this expression upon reflection is again used when you have made a decision and then given it lots of thought which has then made you change your mind okay so for example you could say something like upon reflection i decided that we do not need to have a family vacation this year we need to save a lot of money instead so we're not going to spend on a family vacation okay so you had initially decided or made your decision to have a family vacation but then you gave a lot of thought to it and then you changed your decision so upon reflection you thought that no we're going to save money we're not going to go with our original decision okay all right uh, as i said the next expression is pretty much the same as this one it is used you know in the same way as this one but it is used in a formal environment like at office or at work that's where this expression is used so you can say something like after further consideration uh, we decided that mr john is one of the best candidates for this job so we decided to hire him okay so you may have had a different decision about somebody else to be hired for that job but then after thinking about it you thought that no we'll have john for the job he is the best candidate okay all right then the next expression to change your decision is he convinced me okay the other word for that would be he persuaded me okay so sometimes you've made a decision but somebody else comes along and influence influences you to change your decision so you could say something like i decided to study very hard after going home but my friend took me along with her to party right so or she convinced me to you know spend a day at her house and do something else so you've made a decision but someone influences you to change it that's when you are convinced or persuaded to do something else okay okay the next expression is i am not sure what i was thinking when i you know well this depends on what situation we're talking about okay so i'm not sure what i was thinking when i applied for the job you know you made a decision to work at a certain job but that job is not meant for you so now you are stressed you are harrowed you are so worried every time right so i am not sure what i was thinking when i was doing something basically is used when your decision that was made in the past was not even a logical one or you could say i'm going to break up with mark i i'm not sure what i was thinking when i decided to see him right because your decision in the past wasn't a logical one okay you probably haven't thought about it too much before having made that decision okay and the last one is i did a 180 okay a 180 is a 180 degree we all know what a 180 degree is right it is um the opposite we're talking about doing something the opposite of what you've decided to do in the first place right so when you have a total opposite um feeling or attitude toward a decision that you've made previously that's when you would say i did a 180 so you could say something like i decided to stay away from my parents to not talk with them but then i did a 180 when i realized that whatever they've done for me was meant for my good okay so you did a 180 your feelings your attitudes 
to a, a certain thing or people have changed in a total different way, in, in the very opposite direction, okay? Well, these are some expressions used to change your mind, to change your choice and to change your decision. I am sure you'll find them very informative when you speak English in your everyday life. I'll be back with some more lessons. Until then, this is me saying 